Happy New Year, everybody. Hope you've set some goals for 2025, because I can guarantee if you haven't, you will achieve every single one of them. Now, I've got a funny feeling that Tesla's trying to get ahead of a FUD tsunami as they begin rolling out the first robotaxis with the over-the-air software update in existing Tesla vehicles. Believe me, if you thought the FUD, the anti-Tesla propaganda in the media, was horrible and intense prior to now, just you wait until the massive disruption of transportation itself takes place via autonomy. Today, Tesla published this, the title of the video, putting FSD safety to the test. Remember, 2025 is the year Tesla intends on launching their first Tesla Robotaxis with an over-the-air software update in a few states in the US. So let's see what this software can do. Pretty basic and common stuff here. You got a brain dead moron who reverses out without looking in front of you. Very important that you and all the vehicle reacts in time. Now, assuming that you're not distracted as a human driver and or just super dumb, you'll probably react just like the Tesla vehicle did, braking in time. But as we know, sometimes people do get distracted. And these kind of small accidents in neighborhoods happen all the time. Big tick for the Tesla. Another big win, by the way, for those of you, probably goes without saying, but occluded means you can't see it. Something's blocking the view, right? And again, if you have a brain dead driver and there's a lot of them on roads, this kind of stuff happens all the time. Unless you're paying absolute attention, the foot hovering over the brake, ready to slam it on at any moment. For many of you watching, this would have ended up in a collision. Two big ticks for the Tesla so far. Just me or are these safety tests getting a little bit more challenging each time now i'm going to stop interrupting i mean you guys can just watch i'll, I'll put, add a few notes along the way but i think we're going to see a recurring thing tesla handling the situations like a fucking boss and just think each time if you were driving and you just so happened to be distracted maybe there was a 10 walking to your right i mean i would never who would ever be distracted uh what did i mean by that nothing maybe you just dropped your ice cream from mcdonald's in your lap kids been an annoying fuck in the back soon to be ex-wife is nagging just imagine how you would react and whether or not you would have had a close call, if not actually a collision. Nobody cares about when a Tesla drives perfectly well in an easy situation, but it's stuff like this where there could be a collision. How does the software handle it? Thank you. 
Okay, so I mean, those were not super challenging situations if you're paying attention. Although, you know, I've got to say, by the way, it's already clear that the Tesla vehicle FSD has an IQ well above the average driver out there. Well, I just noticed the title here, door opening during overtake. This could be a fucker. There are a lot of very dumb people in vehicles today who, I mean, I just have to say they're really stupid and they'll happily fling their car door open without even checking to make sure there's no oncoming vehicles, which is a very important reason why if you as a driver happen to be driving alongside parked cars, you should give as much room as possible just in case some dumb fuck opens their door out of nowhere. So let's see how the Tesla handles this one. Could be a little bit hairy. Jesus, these are getting tight. I think the key takeaway so far is this vehicle on FSD is going to save people who are slightly distracted or not just absolutely on the money with their reflexes from these kind of collisions. Forget the driving for you part, just the avoiding collisions when dickhead drivers who can't drive for shit do stuff like this, slamming their brakes on when they've got their blinker on to turn, cutting in front of you, flinging a door open when you're about to open. Like, this alone is a big selling point. By the way, it's also worth noting for those who unaware you can pay attention to the visualization on the screen on the tesla which shows you an approximation of what the vehicle sees in the real world so ideally you would like it to be seeing the same objects you are if there's a car in front of you or you know just turning to the side you'd hope that it's being visualized here wait a second now look i admit i was slightly distracted then did that vehicle start braking before this dickhead cut in front or just as it started, I can't, it's so seamless, I can't really tell. It's almost as if it started braking before the vehicle even turned. Let me just check. Probably didn't, but if it did, that would show some anticipation. Obviously, as the car's sitting there, it's thinking, hey, is this fucker going to turn in front of me? I would be anyway. But let's just watch. So we can see here, blinker on, indicating an intent to turn, but obviously doesn't have a right of way. I just want to try and slow this down to one quarter speed and see if the approaching Tesla notices ahead of time and begins braking preemptively or not i'm just or how quickly the reaction took place it seemed almost instantaneous so let's watch this at one quarter speed all right here goes okay so it's approaching oh there we go so they have started to move i've just noticed the blink is now off and they've just started to accelerate but they haven't actually turned in front of the tesla vehicle so let's let's pause again vehicles approaching no braking yet and this dickhead hasn't started turning yet here we go blinker clicking moving forward now is the very first sign, I've just paused it again, that's the very first sign right there that this person may in fact be about to turn in front of the oncoming Tesla. So let's see how long it takes for the oncoming vehicle to actually notice and hit the brakes because that was the very moment right there where you'd have a bit of a twitch reflex and go, hang on a minute, this fuck is about to. So let's just see. Watching in real time now. Okay, oh, that's almost instant. That's incredible, dude. It was like two or three frames in an instant. I mean, that's got to be a fraction of a fraction of a second. I thought so. When I saw this the first time, I'm like, bro, it anticipated. It didn't quite, like, it, it was watching, right? But this car has only just, just started to turn and move forward. And the Tesla's already braking preemptively. No human has reflexes this fast. Just not possible. This is amazing. I'm going to watch that again in one quarter speed. Okay, here goes. One quarter speed right now. Is that the moment? Oh, that's amazing. So the car was creeping forward a little tiny bit before it started to turn and at that point the oncoming tesla didn't do shit right but as soon as the wheels turn which is the key it starts moving forward nothing happens but now it turns the wheels and immediately like the instant the wheels turn suddenly the approaching tesla slams on the brakes this is incredible stuff the reaction times here are just ridiculous again one more time watch it creeps forward a little bit but as soon as the wheel starts to crank across that's when we get the brake None of you watching could have reacted that fast. Most of you watching would probably have collided with that vehicle. 
Of course, this is how FSD should work, right? You can see in all directions at once, doesn't get distracted, and has superhuman reflexes. Now, I'm guessing here, but I think the title of this is suggesting something has dropped. It says dropped cone, right, in real time, as opposed to being a static obstacle on the road. Dynamic debris. This could be fun. Okay, that was great. 85% of you would have at least crashed there, right? Let's be real. Could you have reacted that fast with a completely occluded video? Not just turning across you, but you turning. So coming to almost a complete stop right in front of you out of nowhere. Let's watch again. Things are getting juicy now. A high speed cutout. They're definitely getting harder towards the end. I can't wait to see the last couple. I mean, in fairness, the first half of this video, most of those were pretty easy and obvious things. But, geez, they're getting a bit tight now. That was a very easy one. Tesla handled the high speed braking like a boss. One interesting note on this, it's obviously important to allocate some space between you and the vehicle in front of you, but you also need to factor in the quality of brakes on vehicles. If there's a vehicle in front of you has much better brakes, meaning that it can stop a lot quicker than you can, you need to allocate extra space, right? This is something a lot of people don't account for. A fairly new modern vehicle being followed relatively closely by an older, less well-maintained vehicle with worse brakes, even if it seems to be providing a reasonable follow distance. If the vehicle in front of you can slam on its brakes and does, and your brakes just aren't up to scratch, rest in fucking peace. So this high speed test, for those of you who can't see because of the YouTube compression or you're watching on a mobile, currently doing totally the legal speed limit of 70 miles per hour. Right, this might be the last test. I mean, a stationary child, unless you're stupid or super distracted, probably not an issue. Although, if there's a car in front of you and it doesn't swerve too late and you don't realise, then you can have a problem. But moving at high speed with a crossing child, this will be fun.
well handled. Now, I think most people watching will think, well, you know, this isn't exactly superhuman. I could have handled those situations. But here's the thing. You get distracted. You have a bad day. You occasionally are hungover, haven't got enough sleep. In fact, many people watching today, that'll be the case on both counts. Sometimes distracted, screaming kids in the background, a nearby accident, busy rubbernecking. The obvious takeaway from this video from Tesla is just showing off the capabilities of the software just in terms of its ability to avoid many of those common collisions and accidents that take place, some with severe consequences, like a kid crossing the road at high speed. And most of the time, most human drivers will handle these same situations well. It's just when you're distracted, not paying attention, tired, that's when these catastrophic accidents can take place. Now, is it just me or is the timing of this a little more than coincidental? Tesla beginning their first Rover taxis, 2025, dropping a video showing off some of the safety capabilities of FSD in a variety of situations. What do you guys think? Want more content? Early access? A bunch of perks? Click the links in the pinned comment. AG1 is awesome. I've been taking it daily now for more than three years. It's a great way to fill in nutritional gaps. It's packed full of vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients. Plus, it has prebiotics, probiotics, and adaptogens to improve gut health, regularity, and help your body handle stress. I'm always looking for an edge to help me feel and perform my best, which is why I haven't missed a day of AG1 for more than three years. Just try it and see how you feel. Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs. This is what viewers of the channel had to say after trying AG1. I feel like I have a lot more energy since I started on AG1. Just got my AG1 in the mail, legit feeling the effects after day three. Three months ago, I started AG1 and have been enjoying the evenness of alertness and energy that lasts the day. I just started the wife on it too. Are you convinced yet? I mean, hey, it's worth trying, right? Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR or I can keep going. This viewer after about a month on AG1, definitely a lack of fatigue in the afternoon. Pleasant side effect is that my coffee intake has imploded and is almost down to zero. One more, yeah, why not? I honestly feel younger and will be continuing to use AG1. This stuff really is crazy good. I didn't think it would be, but this stuff is awesome. It really is what everyone is saying. One more, don't mind if I do. I've just received my third month supply. I've drank it every day. I have so much energy throughout most of the day. I'm productive, started a new business, started socializing, refurbished a boat. It's no coincidence. Thank you for your persistence, your integrity, and your insights. Now look, these are not my words. These are not my testimonials. This is what you guys and girls are saying. Maybe it's 100% placebo effect. But even if that's the case, I think it's money well spent. Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs.